All right, we're gonna clean and season this new 12 inch wok. It's from Joyce Chen, rated real highly on three or four sites. It's a thin carbon steel pan, 16 gauge, very thin. Can be made non-stick, but it needs to be cleaned first and then seasoned. This is my, I don't know, 25 year old wok. That thing is like non-stick. I can fry an egg in there and just pour it right off. I got a video on that. But it's too big for camping and a lot of things, and it's fairly heavy. 14 inches, this is 12 inches. Let's go. All right, it's got a coating on it that we just have to get off. We're going to start by boiling some water in it, then we'll scrub it aggressively. Boil that thing for five to seven minutes to dissolve the coating. All right, now you're just going to scrub it with an aggressive pad to clean everything out inside and outside. All right, after you scrub the heck out of it with a steel wool, we're going to turn it on super hot. And we're gonna season it, which just takes a couple minutes. I've got another video on that by itself. Okay, all we're gonna do is use an oil with a high smoke point. This is a canola oil, soybean oil, or vegetable oil, which is almost always soybean oil, or peanut oil all work good. See the, a little bit of smoke coming off there now? We're gonna let that get hot. See it's starting to get brown all up in there. And now we're gonna add about a tablespoon or two of oil to the pan and just start burning it into the pan with this okay so here we go it's gonna smoke so we'll hit that on and uh, I'm just gonna wipe this everywhere and start moving the pan so all sides get hit there's potential for catching oil on fire here so you got to be careful I'm gonna put you on pause I like to throw a little bit of salt in there and that helps a little bit of scrubbing, I'm not sure. That's the way I was taught by an old Chinese grandmother when I first started cooking how to do a wok. I've seen it online a few times. You can see it polymerizing the oil. All right, just moving it all around, getting all the sides, heating up so we can burn it into the edges. And uh, you're gonna gradually build up the coating over time. Just don't wash it with soapy water. Just do water, wipe it out with water, and then when you're done cooking, hit it with a little bit of oil and heat it up briefly to drive off any water. And then hit it with a little bit of oil on the hot pan, and just wipe it in, and you'll keep this nonstick coating on. Okay? You can see how it's going. I've got about uh, probably two minutes of time now between the pauses total. Okay, it's getting pretty good. Just don't want to be scraping it off. And I'm just going to flip it and wipe the outside a little bit. And that just puts a quick little coating on again. It's to keep it from rusting. Okay. Get everything on there. All right. Okay, we're just going to let that cool down. And then I'll uh, wipe it out. And we'll try it. All right, this is the first use of this pan since I seasoned it. You can see the seasoning is pretty good. Seems fairly non-stick frying up this uh, homemade bacon chunks. We'll do an egg as soon as I pull this out. All right, we just pulled the bacon out. We're gonna leave that little bit of fat in there and uh, just because it's just freshly seasoned. And um, we will see. Oh, I think three eggs should be good. A little bit of shell on that, I'll get it. All right, seems pretty non-stick. Sliding around the pan, pretty dang good. There's a tablespoon of oil in there, but I think most people do that. All right, we'll just let that cook up and pour that off for our fried rice. Yeah, even the sides. So, brand new pan, non-stick, one seasoning.